December meeting of the Anderson County Board of Education will come to order. Let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Instead of something good, we have something great tonight. We have something great tonight. You're exactly right. We have the Anderson County, uh, An the Clinton High School Choir. <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. I, Anderson County Schools, I say That's that every it. day, <laughs> Anderson County Schools. So everything I start says Anderson County Schools. Anderson County Schools, Clinton High School Choir. That's right. Yes, come on, you all will come right on in. Can we go out there? Yes. Yeah, we can go out there. Yep. Let's go out there, Glenda. <laughs> yeah. That sounds better. Hello, everyone. We are the members of the Clinton High School Advanced Ensemble. We sing a wide variety of different choral works in a host of different arrangements and dialects. We are a traveling audition choir on to any 10 through 12th graders. We have traveled around the world. We have traveled around Tennessee, seeing a lot right here in our own back, backyard to going as far as Nashville. We've had multiple members make all, all East and All State Honors Choir. Tonight we've prepared a few special pieces in the spirit of Christmas. But first, next Tuesday we will be hosting our annual Christmas concert at Clinton High School's Auditorium. What's up? At 6. We would love to see you all there. Our first piece we will be singing is called When I Hear the Sounds of Christmas. When I Hear the Sounds of Christmas is a beautiful ballad about the joy, the joys of Christmas time and the heartwarming feelings that you receive around this time of year. We really hope you enjoy When I Hear the Sounds of Christmas.
Joyfully we sing Noel, 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 spreading to the world the news we have to tell. Oh, he is born, a babe, the newborn king. He has been born, the tidings now we bring. Joyfully we sing Noel, Noel, Noel. Clinton High School Chorus. Good job. Good job. That great. was great. All right. I don't believe we have anyone to be heard tonight. Correct. Okay. <laughs> um, approval of the agenda. We do have, there's a, I think, is there a resolution at everybody's yes. place? 
No, I didn't. I just oh. got it on here. Oh, okay. There is a resolution to um, uh, purchase the property adjacent to Andersonville Elementary School. We need to add that to the agenda under um, action items. So, if you would, are there any other additions to the agenda? If you would approve that addition. Motion we then, approve the, the addition of the land purpose. All okay. right. Motion to approve the agenda with that one item added. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. That <clears> is done. <throat> Next item is the approval of consent agenda. The only thing I would point out is that it will now include the uh, minutes from the previous month's meeting. So we'll be approving those so we don't get in trouble yep. in any way. So anything needs to be pulled off of the consent agenda for discussion. Not. I'll entertain a motion to approve it. So moved. Second. Motion and second to approve the consent agenda. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. That's done. There was no executive approval this month. Um, comments from the chair. I did put at your place the legislative agenda for TSBA for the coming year. Um, <coughs> And since there are only nine items on it, I thought I'd hit the highlights just for those who might be listening. And um, But you remember last month we elected people to go to the delegate uh, delegates assembly at the TSBA conference, and so this was what we did. Um, a lot of these items have to do with making it easier to become and remain a teacher. Um, so one of those is funding the praxis so that teachers can... Um, uh, make themselves even more valuable by uh, uh, expanding their horizons a little bit. Um, options to um, hire teacher students who still who only need to complete their student teaching, so to allow them to be hired and do their student teaching while they're actually employed, so make it save a little bit of time. Uh, again, these are things we're throwing out to the uh, to the assembly as. Uh, priorities for the year, so there's still some things that need to be fleshed out. Uh, there's an option for military veterans to obtain occupational teaching license. Uh, some of the military qualifications um, or training qualify them to teach certain things, so it makes it a little easier to, to hire some retired military folks to teach. Um, then there's a, a request just to review the, all of the laws and such in the, um, in the code for anything that makes it more difficult to be a teacher, any kind of obstacle and things that are that are out there. Of course, the uh, third, fourth grade retention thing is a big deal, and most folks really want that to be decided among people who know the students best, not uh, folks in Nashville. Um, there was a, a resolution from um, Putnam County that wanted to have um, uh, conduct lotteries, lottery type fundraisers for schools. So that was approved, I don't know where that'll go, but it allows, uh, allows school systems the option of doing some- uh, Board of Education to conduct lotteries. Yeah, the Board of Education, that's what I, yeah, we're gonna conduct a lottery. So again, some of these just might become available for folks, uh, there'll be options for that. Um, a big emphasis on local uh, control of schools. Uh, you know, some people think that our own that nobody knows more about students in Anderson County than our own teachers and staff and administration and school board. So we believe that, and so we'd like to uh, have more uh, control, or at least retain the control that we're supposed to have for our schools. Uh, there was a, um, uh, we're urging the General Assembly to use uh, the TANA funds, the Temporary Assistance for Needy Family Funds for costs related to funding uh, programs that support social services. Uh, also funding um, uh, scholarships for special ed folks, people who are interested in going into special ed. That's, that was one of those that was uh, making it easier to be a teacher. I think that's all of them, but did I hit them all? I think I kind of jumped around. But anyway, that's uh, the legislative agenda for the Tennessee School Boards Association. So some of them may never see the light of day, but some of them may. So that is all from the chair. <laughs> We don't have any of our, either of our students here. No, tonight. I think I think they're all busy. They're tonight. busy. It yeah. must be December. Yes. So, yeah. well, then we can go right on into the director's report. Okay. Get up. If you step up here. 
Scott. Uh, our, our first thing is, uh, and I, so for the, I think the third or fourth year in a row, uh, we do something every year, every month, and we recognize part of our staff, our custodians, our uh, cafeteria workers, our teachers, our principals, our bus drivers, and all of that comes through a U-Trust. And we went to Nashville in November, and we were awarded, it says U-Trust presents Anderson County Board of Education the best appreciating appreciation program in East Tennessee award for 2022. And I'm going to give this to Mr. Scott because this is part of we will bring this on the board. There you go. But yep. we know who is really responsible yes. for that and that's Ms. Pam, Pam Crawford. She <laughs> is absolutely yeah, she does a great Pam. job yeah. for that. Yes, yes she does. She does. Great. And that that is the way we get our funding and for uh, grants and our uh, grant funding this year was just a little over sixty thousand dollars so all the schools not only got a hundred dollars because we won but all the schools will receive grant funding and we've already sent that out for their number and then we keep money back for us to do our celebrations with and that's how uh, they've been doing uh, catering lunches and things like that this year so it, it's a really a great way to celebrate our staff and, our, and like you say Pam Crawford does an excellent job on that uh, we we are going to truly miss her <laughs> when she decides that she's going to retire at the end of this year. But I'm trying to make sure that she stays on for Is a long it the time. At the end of this year? At the end of the school, the school year. year June. End of the school year. Oh, yeah. I June's up another the, year. <laughs> no, it's it's going to be June. So. Well, we need to just tie her up. Yes. Her <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, well, one of the other things that uh, I think is is pretty good is that. Uh, as you have on your table, uh, Anderson County football won the state title this last weekend, uh, the first time in school history, uh, the first time uh, in the history of our school district that I think we've had a state winner in football, uh, maybe way back in the early 30s, but I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, we have had state championships in volleyball and other things like that, but this is the first time football, so we want to congratulate them. And on the 19th, which is a week from next Monday at 6 o'clock at the Anderson County Courthouse, we will have a joint resolution recognizing the football team and it will be at 6 o'clock and they will all be recognized there. So uh, I've talked to them. They want to invite the board to be part of that and come on that night. So that's, that's on Monday night at 6 o'clock. That's the, the, a week from this Monday. It's a week from this coming Monday, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> Another thing is that uh, Aunt Fairview Elementary School is one of uh, the top 100 schools in the nation, and they have been recognized as an ESEA designated school. And that comes from, uh, it, that's the Elementary and Secondary Educational Act, and they recognize schools for three things, for exceptional student performance and academic growth, as determined by the state, closing the achievement gap for students in, in different subgroups and excellence in serving special populations, homeless and migrant. And so we want to uh, congratulate Fairview Elementary School. Uh, that's the only school in the state of Tennessee that won that award. And they will be going to a, uh, in sometime uh, early in the year, they will be going to the ESA the National ESEA Conference, and then at the state, uh, the state Board of Education meeting in early next spring, they will be at that and they'll be recognized. And we're going to try our best to see if we can't figure out a way to get that whole staff to go down for that for that day. So that, that's a pretty big deal that they are recognized for this. They they have been having to do interviews and they've done a video. I think Ryan's been helping them do some stuff to. Put it out, but but that's the first time we know of anybody in East Tennessee that's that's got this award. Pretty big thing. The other thing is uh, we have sent out a survey to our staff. We've been doing that for about three years. Sent a survey out asking them things about uh, what can we do to make Anderson County better. What can what are some things we can take off their plate? How do how do they 
can help us retain teachers and things like that. So we're working on that data that we'll be bringing it back to you for your board retreat. And then in January, we again, we will do focus groups where we meet uh, with every group of our, from our teachers to our custodians to our uh, social workers to our assistants, special ed teachers, we'll meet with all of them and we'll ask them for input and we'll get that input back from you. And also we'll meet with our, uh, our parent group and we'll have input from them. So hopefully we'll have a lot of good information when we come back in February. Uh, and one of the other things that I got today is one of the things that the state legislators are pushing from uh, the tall side of it is trying to uh, increase the money that teachers get for their supplies. Right now they get $200 a year, and so there's a bill that's going to be trying to move that to $500 a year. And so that would be really good if we could get that for our teachers. We still don't know about our test TESA funding. Uh, we were supposed to get a first look at it sometime in October and November, and now they say it's probably gonna be the end of January before they figure out. So hopefully by the time we go to, our, again, our, comp our board retreat, we'll have some information on that. And uh, last of all, I just uh, want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and hope you all have a, a great time. It's been a great school year. Uh, our staff, if you don't know, they have been uh, federal <coughs> projects, IDEA, which is special ed, and CTE, and our ESSER funds have all been going through federal monitoring at the same time this year. And we started, they, they have worked tirelessly for the last three months to get ready for it. Well, today started the actual talking to people and we're doing it online. So we met early this morning and they've met with different schools throughout the day. They met with Clinton High School, Fairview, uh, ACCTC, Bryceville, and then tomorrow they meet with the leadership again and go over those things. So we'll know about it, but I think so far they really had some great findings that, that we're doing some some uh, excellent work and then we'll get a report back the first of January and we'll bring that to the board. So a lot of good things going on in Anderson County. How many people did they bring in to visit? They didn't bring them in. It's all done remotely this oh, year. Okay. So so we had, they had about eight people on the team mm -hmm. and they were, they when they were talking to us, they were actually talking in one room. They were talking with the special ed at a school and then they were talking about with the uh, IDEA, I mean with the uh, federal programs at the Title I at the school at the same time. So a lot of teams being worked on. So they also worked with our financial people with uh, Marcus and that area in there, Julie. Dr. Perry, does the state fund the um, teacher supplies? They do right now, the $200. So mm -hmm. that's what they're hoping is the $500. We're, we're hoping that they don't just say that, uh, hey, we want you to change it to 500 and they and don't give us any more money. Right, right. That, that's usually the way things work out. And, and if you think about that, that would cost us about $189,000 to fund that unmandated, yeah. unfunded mandate if they do it. So we're hoping they add that money into that. The $200 costs us something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they only pay for the teachers. They only pay for the teachers that in the BEP. So we don't know how that because there's not a number with 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 TISA. There's not a with teacher TISA, number. We, we should get more, hopefully. Yeah, it's a it's a student funded. Uh, it's student funding instead of teacher funding. So I don't know how that works. If they say, well, you should get every teacher, but I think what'll be, you just get that money and you have to do with it what you want. So, you know. Sometimes it's not, it's not good when they just say, hey, do that, but here are all the mandates you have to follow, and we're not going to give you all this extra funding, but you got to put it in there. Now we give you all this extra money when really it was in grants, and now it's all in one funding, and it's the same amount of money. So that's what we've got to be careful for. Is that TISA, is that for underprivileged? <coughs> no, it's the new, it's the new, BEP. it's the oh, new it's BEP. The oh, okay. Yeah, it'll replace BEP. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you want to talk about the retreat? That's, well, that, that was under you, but I can talk about it. Oh, well, I didn't write down, so I forgot. We'll uh, talk about that then. Yeah, we, <laughs> we need to schedule the retreat. We have two dates, uh, either February the 24th and 25th or February the 17th and 18th. 
on a Friday night and a Saturday morning and decide where all you want to have it. I like where we're going. I like where we're going. Because I like, Teresa, I like to go home at night. Is <laughs> that <laughs> John Nash I Yeah, I don't know. John if, if, if Scott will reach out to Tammy at TSBA, will you do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. See, is there any, has anybody got any different, I don't know if the, uh, the the 17th and 18th, that's, I, I'm not sure where everybody's doing uh, Valentine's Day, if they're doing it the weekend before or the weekend after. <laughs> it's on a Tuesday, it's on a Tuesday, 14th's on a Tuesday. I have to check my calendar on that one. You'll have to check your calendar. <laughs> See what? Yeah. So, but we, yeah. if you will just send Pam an email and if, if there's one of those dates that really doesn't have with you and then we'll try to get them set because we want to get them set because those fill up pretty fast. Yeah. 17, 18 or 24, 25 of yep. February. Yep. Or if we had to, we could go to, ooh, let me, let me, 17, 18, 24, 25. Yeah, I don't know if y'all want to go into March or not. I'd rather, you, we really need it done earlier there because mm -hmm. we could get a budget and everything passed because we've got to start having the budget across by about the 15th of March, I think. So. Oh, and, and another thing on that is this does not, and Scott's heard this and Teresa did, this does not fulfill the requirements for the seven hours. Have you, have you heard that, Scott? No, I hadn't heard that. It, it does not. Unless we, unless y'all do something like we did last year, mm -mm. It, even the joint venture. It, a joint venture, does, it doesn't uh, count as, count a, as a, the an required hours. anymore. Oh, really? Mm -mm. They took that out. Now, Summer Law did. You remember that? Summer Law counted for what? For the, for the seven hours. Oh. So do we need, do we need? Do well, we need there's test? so many opportunities on yeah. that calendar that uh, you need test them to them. be here. TS Bay to be here, or we just planted ourselves. Either so, way. You know. Now that's, oh, oh, well, no, that's when we do the evaluation, do, do your evaluation. And, yep. and yeah, a lot of that we can do ourselves. Well, if the joint venture doesn't count for anything anymore, do we really need to do that? We can just call it a retreat. Just yeah. not do the. And not, and not, and not involve, have them there. And yeah. not involve TSBA. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, they tally, they tally up your evaluation. But no, we usually it's always such way. a close yeah. vote. Wade, Wade usually does that <laughs> yes, for us. He sure does. Yeah. yeah. Now they do your alls. They do. They do your all. The uh, board self evaluation. The board self evaluation, but we could still get that and go over it. Yeah, we can. Do that. That's something to think about. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll talk about that. Yep. We got a little bit of time. Yep. We'll be here before we know it, but we have. Yes. Yeah. All right. So that was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Between your, <laughs> yours and mine. We committee reports while you're talking. The budget committee. Okay, the budget committee met Monday night and uh, had these. Uh, Dr. Burr, you want to talk about any of these? Uh, we had we had really one uh, A through one D were were appropriations. The only one that was out of the general purpose school budget was. Uh, the funds from special ed service for fees uh, to take care of stipends for our department chairs and crisis management for $150,000. Uh, the other three were just really appropriating grants and the last one was uh, to appropriate the best schools appreciation check for preschool for $100. So move we approve. Second. Motion to approve appropriations 1A through 1D. And a second, right? Any other discussion? Roll call. All right. Mr. Burrow? Aye. Uh, Mr. Gillamwaters? Aye. Uh, Mr. McCainy? Aye. Uh, Ms. Williams? Aye. Uh, Ms. Portwood? Aye. Ms. Langdeberg? Aye. Motion carries. All right. Thank you. Transfers? You know the transfer? And the transfers, we had three, uh, 2A through 2C. They were all really and truly just uh, uh, reflections of trying to make sure that our budget and is what was approved by the state. As you know, the federal grants have to go in so early that as the year goes on, they have to to change those. And the last one C was just to pay for membership dues in the Tennessee Head Start Association. So 
Second. Second. Motion second to approve transfers to A through to C. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. That is done. Action items. Uh, it's December. Now, wait a minute. Oh, policy. I'm sorry. I, I was no, sitting there thinking me. that. Um, you skipped me, Scott. Right. I was thinking you didn't have anything to report, but yeah, I, I guess you, and, and, you may. And I apologize that I don't have it on the board. It, you don't realize how much you miss somebody till they're till they're gone. And Pam has been really sick <laughs> this okay, week. We and I have been I have been like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get these things done. So I did put you a copy of the board uh, uh, of the board policy on your. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, Miss Williams, the policy committee. The policy committee did meet on Monday night, and we we had two policies up for discussion, and we spent quite a bit of time discussing appeals to and appearances before the board. But we didn't we didn't motion to table. We, we just decided to put it off until Dr. Parrott has a chance to work with some folks, and uh, that will come back at the next meeting, hopefully. So that's that policy now. We have a new, newly amended policy, I guess I would say. Orientation dash slash New Teacher Institute that Teresa Portwood presented. And it's, uh, it's got a, had a few changes that was not in our current policy that we have had for years. So uh, do I need to read it or no? I don't unless anybody wants to. They don't want to hear. They don't want to hear. Yeah. So, uh, the committee recommended approval on first reading, and I so move. Second. Motion second to approve uh, 5.107 on first reading. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Opposed, no. It's done. We'll, that takes care of policy. We'll finish that up next month. Thank you. Now we have action items. Sorry, I'm trying to get home. Just trying to go home. That's right? it. That's it. Um, December means we're approving tenure, so we have the uh, tenure list that you all have seen. What's your pleasure? I make a motion we approve the presented tenure list for 2022. Second. A motion and a second to approve the list that is before you. Any discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. That is done. Next item is the resolution that we added um, to the agenda. This is the um, prop purchase uh, in the property adjacent to Answerville Elementary. Um, yes, we skip, well, therefore be it resolved that <laughs> it gives the location. Um, the cost and you've yeah, already appropriated cost. all the money this right. just this really just allows uh, the chairman and the director of schools to sign uh, at closing yep. yeah the closing hasn't happened yet has it no no the closing no. hasn't happened hasn't happened yet no, I, I, go ahead. I'm getting off track Sorry. okay so is there a motion to approve this resolution so moved mr chairman second there's a motion and second approve the resolution purchasing the property at Andersonville Elementary. Any other discussion? Now, this is something that's been needed for a number of years. <laughs> I'm glad Dr. Parrott was able to. Yes. Whatever. Yes. We're, we're going to make sure that is a, that that yes. Yeah, it's it's been a pain. Yes. All right. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Opposed no. That is done. You don't have anybody to present to. I know. But you can present it. Got all these Christmas cards. You Nobody here can. Right. <laughs> Miss Corwood has a presentation. <laughs> we can Merry at least Christmas thank people anyway. on television. Well, Pam, if you're watching, Merry Christmas. <laughs> we watching. have your card for you. Is she watching? She's <laughs> making sure we get no. it right. Yeah. Yeah. She's making sure I don't screw up too bad. <laughs> well, I was wondering who's taking better. notes. Surely she's not doing that at home. I hope she feels better soon. Yes. But we have your Christmas card. I'll leave it uh, with Dr. Parrott. And then we have Christmas cards for our two student school board members, and neither of them are here. Do y'all want your money back? I will give those. <laughs> we'll give we'll give those to Mr. Schneider. There we'll you give go. those to Mr. Okay. Schneider, and he can go out to the two schools. Is he well, well, is he well enough to do that? Will himself? you do that, Mr. Schneider? Yep. Is, is Thank you. Do that. Oh, I did a good job there. Yep. All right. So the last item is does 
wish everybody the happiest of holiday seasons and happy new year. And to all a good night, right? Yep. That's, <laughs> it. That's exactly right. We are done. We are oh, adjourned. and the flowers, who presented the flowers? Oh, the flowers came from, from who? Were, they came from Clinton High School and, and oh, ACCTC. So get you one or two or how many or many you want. They're pretty. <laughs> all yes. right. And that's yeah, Joe. Beautiful. Joe giving us good stuff. Eric, thank you. Same you too. What's my shirt you wear? A large usually. Well, I have something to make your day. <laughs>